So traditionally, the way that most of us work with IFCs is uh, we have some sort of uh, uh, our black box BIM model um, uh, from multiple sources. And we have multiple BIM models coming from multiple black box software, and these all get translated off into uh, IFC. And we get, I don't know, in a single project, we might get five IFC files, we might get 30 IFC files, we might get 100 IFC files. Uh, I know certainly some projects getting thousands of IFC files. And these all come in and we have to go and check them and so on. And uh, when the project is finished, we have, we create various deliverables, you know, ver uh, across from this, sometimes we have uh, spreadsheets which are exported uh, which have asset registers, or occasionally these are linked into other black box software, which produce things like uh, Gantt chart software that produce uh, project timelines and so on. And all this is completely disconnected. And in today's session, I want to suggest that we've all seen this. Like we know uh, tools like Microsoft Project and Synchro, which do the 40. We know tools like Costex or i2 or RibCX. We know tools like Revit and ArchiCAD and uh, DDS CAD and 12D and Civil 3D, and they're all used in their little buckets. And what happens is that all these documents, they are separate and you don't know how much you can trust each one and they're unstandardized in the way that their data is kept and i suggest that the way to move forward is to have a different way to approaching our deliverables uh, think of having at the very center we have for all of our projects uh, some sort of uh, bim database and this bim database describes all the information about our um, the, the built environment project that we're working on. And this is based on IFC. And uh, let's say we have Revit or ArchiCAD or um, Civil 3D or, what, or Tecla, all these other softwares coming in, and they just feed in through their IFCs into this one major IFC database. And uh, it can be other sources coming into it as well. So for example, if we have um, a timeline software, which we're doing something else in, in, some, uh, in some other software, that can also be another input. If we have a classification system, which is managed in spreadsheets, uh, that is also an input into this major uh, BIM database. And this is kind of the holy grail of BIM that we've been, uh, that people talk about. It's this kind of uh, unified, standardized, cross-disciplinary store of data. And none of us have been able to achieve it. But I think if you start thinking of IFC not just as an exchange, but as your central data store, then we can actually start to achieve this. And the way it works, I think, is that we need to get comfortable with processing IFCs. So let's say out of Revit, we go and export uh, one IFC file. And then what would happen is that we would have ArchiCAD, let's say, producing another IFC file. And then we'll have Microsoft Project producing some sort of uh, XML file, you know, storing all of our uh, task dependencies and so on. We can take all of these things and we can plus, plus, plus using a system. Let's say we've got a cloud system that does all this server processing to go and take all these data and feed it into this uh, one big IFC uh, database. And in order to get to that stage, I, I would suggest that it's important to understand exactly how IFC works under the hood.